Guys, welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to be continuing on with our Swift UI tutorial series, and in this particular tutorial, we are going to be taking a look at some of the new tab view styles that were introduced in iOS 18, macOS 15, watchOS 11, and Vision OS 2. So, let's get started by taking a look at the simplest one, and that is the tab bar only style. The tab bar only style will essentially show you uh, your tabs in a tab bar when possible. So on iOS and on iPadOS and macOS, pretty much every platform uh, except for watchOS because uh, tab views uh, tab views are a little bit different on watchOS, um, but. Um, it'll show kind of a tab bar with your tabs by default and it won't, for example, allow you to convert that to a sidebar, like sidebar adaptable or anything like that. Um, so let's go ahead and actually take a look at that style. So if we go into Xcode and we say tab bar only, what this is going to do is we can save this and run it. It's going to it's going to try to run on my phone here, so I will unlock my phone. All right. And then I'm going to uh, do a screen mirroring here. So screen mirroring. I want my Mac Mini. All right. All right, so here we are in our application. You can see we have our list of contacts and then we have our tabs down there at the bottom. It's still trying to finish loading, but. Um, no, I don't want my cellular. Come on. Come on, phone. You can do it. In any case, you can see that down there at the bottom of our screen, we have all contacts and favorites as our tabs in the center of our screen there. We have a list of all of our contacts and all that stuff. Uh, this, is what th this is what the tab view style of tab bar only looks like on iOS. Okay, there we go. So we have 59 favorites and 100 uh, contacts total. But yeah, so that is the first tab view style that we have. I'm going to go ahead and go back into Xcode. We're going to stop our screen mirroring session there. Now, what does this look like on macOS? Because, you know, you might be wondering what it looks like on that platform as well. Because it does work on macOS. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, let's see. There we go. And run. And so here is, uh, here's our application running on macOS. You can see up in the toolbar of our window, uh, next to the traffic lights, we have our two tabs all contacts and favorites but much like we much like before they don't have the tab they, they don't have the badges on the tabs or the uh, iconography or anything like that it's just the titles and that's it um, which is really cool that's uh, that's pretty much the default tab view style that we have as as it is 
with a ta- with a normal tab view on Mac OS. Uh, so nothing nothing has changed there particularly. Um, things start changing on Mac OS, however, with the grouped uh, tab view style. Now this is a style that only works on Mac OS. And this is the kind of tab style where the tabs aren't necessarily in the toolbar, but they kind of look like they would in, say, Finder or uh, something like that. Uh, they look like the system tabs, pretty much. And the nice thing about, the, about this tab style uh, for your users is that they do include the icons. They don't include the badges, but they include the uh, they include the icons that you assign, like the symbols for your tabs. So if we close out of the application here and we go back into Xcode, we go out of our toolbar here. Excuse me. We go back into Content View. We can say dot tab view style and we can say dot grouped like that let's save this and run it and here's what it, here's what the group style for our tab view looks like Now you can see they're no they're no longer in the toolbar, and Voiceover now interprets them as tabs instead of radio buttons. But we can also see the sim the uh, icons that we assigned the symbols. So we can select favorites all contacts, we can switch between them as needed. All right, so that's the grouped style. What about sidebar adaptable? Well, sidebar the sidebar adaptable style, what this tab view style does is on iPad OS, keep in mind this is on iPad OS, uh, I'm not sure if this works the same way on Vision OS, but I know it works this way on iPad. Um, this tab view style allows you, basically allows you to switch between a tab bar, like a, as in a floating tab bar above your app content, to a sidebar UI. So, this is particularly useful if, for example, you need different sections for, diff uh, for tabs and stuff, where in the tab bar, the sections mean, mean nothing other than they will act as your tabs uh, in your tab view, in which then you need to have some other way for the user to access the tabs within, within those sections. But in the sidebar, Right in the sidebar, those sections appear as collapsible uh, list sections with uh, with tabs in uh, tabs or list items inside of those sections. Uh, now let's go ahead and actually apply this style, and we'll take a look at what it looks like, at least on the iPad. So we'll say dot sidebar adaptable. We'll save this, and we'll first take a look at this on the on the Mac. So the way this the, the way that this will look on the Mac is it will always be a sidebar. You do not have the choice of going from a tab bar um, to a sidebar on Mac OS. It'll always be a sidebar. So if we save this and we run it. In the sidebar, using sidebar adaptable, we get the tab uh, 
icons. So we get the icons, the star, and all that. And we get the badge. So we can see the numbers uh, in, in our, in our uh, tabs, which is nice. So I'm going to go into my sidebar here. So we have 100 contacts and 45 favorites. Now, with voiceover, uh, you only hear the badge number, which isn't great. And that has been a bug for several betas now. Uh, I have I reported this bug months ago, and they still haven't fixed it. So, I, I so just so you know, that's that as of this recording, this bug still isn't fixed. It might be fixed by the time you are watching this. Um, if not then file a feedback uh, report if you feel so inclined. Um, and if it, you know, and, and especially if it affects you directly, right? Because this is, this is something that ne that does need to be fixed. But so, but really, that's what, the, that's what the sidebar adaptable style looks like on the Mac. Let's go ahead and go into the iPad here. So I'm going to go into my toolbar here, activity view, path, uh, let's see, we'll go to my iPad and see how well that will work. I believe it'll also have the screen mirroring. So it's just got to run and do its thing here. Okay. Okay, it's preparing. So it says it's preparing my iPad. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why it's saying it's preparing it when I when I've done this before. So, but we'll in the meantime, we'll we'll try to run this in the iPad simulator. hit cancel on that just so it'll stop doing it toolbar we'll select an iPad here we will put this Okay, we'll put this on the 13 inch iPad Air and we'll run that in the simulator. All right, there we go. Build succeeded. It's running, it's doing its thing. The simulator sometimes does take a little bit to boot. <laughs> And I'm not sure how the accessibility experience is gonna be in the simulator for this, so please do bear with me. Um, all right, so it is doing its thing. Uh, if it's not running already, I'm gonna change the appearance here. There we go. All right, so here we are in dark mode. We uh, In our iPad, we have all contacts, we have favorites, and those tabs are along the top of our screen, as you can see there. However, we also have a toggle sidebar button. When we hit that, now our tabs are in a sidebar instead of our tab bar itself. We can, this is especially prevalent uh, if we rotate our iPad here. Uh, 
let's see. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rerun this because my because the simulator is being odd for now. So okay. All right, simulator, let's go. There we go. All right, so here we are again. Our uh, our tabs are up there at the top. We're in landscape mode now. Uh, we can we can hit our you know we can do our tab our tab view here but we can also go and just change the tabs and all that kind of stuff so that is sidebar adaptable I, I probably didn't do it justice but that but as is the accessibility with the simulator. The simulator sucks with accessibility, but that's not something I can do much about. Anyway, that pretty much does it for this video, guys, on the sidebar adaptable tab view style, the grouped tab view style, and the tab bar only styles that have been added in the newest versions of Apple's operating systems in 2024. Thank you all so very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.